Welcome to the Original Gangsters Podcast. I'm your host, Scott Bernstein. Another quick hitter edition. We're going to go back up to the Great White North uh, in Canada to talk about the Canadian Mafia War, and then we're going to dip down to Mexico and talk about the most recent casualty in the Great Canadian Mafia War. Uh, Sammy the Shoe tomorrow, who was an associate of both the Montreal Mafia, the Rizzuto Mob, as well as the Hells Angels, was gunned down in Mexico last week in Cancun, leaving a, um, or I don't think he was leaving, he was at a uh, a gym, a, a workout facility, and I believe he was killed having like a uh, al fresco workout. Uh, he was outside and uh, someone came in and, and he was lifting weights, someone shot him in the head uh, at like an outside part of, of the gym. Um, Sam P. Tomorrow is the most recent victim of this ever evolving mafia conflict that involves the hell's angels it involves uh street gangs it involves uh various different factions of the old rizzuto mafia kingdom um that all started to fall apart when vito rizzuto went to prison in 2009 and it's been chaos for the last 15 years Sammy Tomorrow uh, was a go-between for the Hells Angels and the Montreal Mob uh, brokering drug deals. And right now it looks like the Hells Angels and the Rizzuto Mob are at odds after having decades of working together. It, it appears that they are now at war with each other. Um, and we can tie Sammy Tomorrow to some, some pretty major players in, in this, in this uh, conflict. First, uh, he is a cousin to hitman Freddie Silva, who was one of the main, you know, enforcers, hitmen that, that were uh, putting in work uh, throughout this conflict. Freddie Silva flipped last year and is in the Canadian's form of witness protection right now, uh, was literally helicoptered out of a prison in the summer of 22, is a suspect in dozens of murders, uh, was someone that was close to Leonardo Rizzuto. And there, people are are really freaking out that, that Freddie Silva is, is cooperating. Just a couple weeks ago, there were a number of raids that were conducted across uh, Quebec tied to Freddie Silva's cooperation, looking into cold case murders. And then days later, Sammy Tomorrow is murdered in Mexico. People are saying that this is the beginning of a purge related to Freddie Silva's cooperation. But, and it's also noteworthy to, to point out this happened down in Mexico. Uh, you know, as this feud has erupted, uh, the, the, the murders, the bloodshed, the bloodshed have not been isolated to Canada. Uh, they've been on multiple continents. A couple have taken place down in Mexico. There's been, uh, murders that have uh, taken place in Italy, as well as other uh, places around the world. Uh, this took place down in Mexico. There was a lot of talk that after Freddie Silva um, flipped in 22, his inner circle fled for, for in, in fear of what happened to, to Sammy the Shoe. Um, and that Sammy the Shoe um, was on the run, I ostensibly not from the government, but from either the mob or the Hells Angels that would want to kill him for what Freddie Silva did. And they eventually got him down in Mexico uh, last week, uh, just days removed from uh, a series of law enforcement raids tied to Freddie Silva's cooperation. We know that Freddie Silva was very close to Leonardo Rizzuto, uh, a bunch of surveillance was done in uh, 2015. Uh, and Silva was driving Leonardo Rizzuto all around, taking him to meetings and whatnot. But uh, Sammy the Shoe tomorrow, go between for the Montreal Mafia, the Rizzuto crime family, and the Hells Angels and drug deals, is dead, uh, was gunned down in Mexico last week. Give me the updates. We'll be back uh, very soon updating you on know, what's going on in Canada because uh, there's just so much activity going on there, and we need to make sure that we cover it all and let you know everything that's breaking uh, up there, and, and the bodies keep dropping. For OG Pod, I'm Scott Bernstein, out.